believe that by doing this and trying to spread the word that you'll be rewarded. Yeah, exactly. Like, that you'll be rewarded more in Jana or are you doing this because you genuinely want to save feet? It's what? Why can't it be what? Why, why does it have to be mutually it's exclusive, isn't it? It can be good because I want good for people and it can be that Allah is rewarding me because I want good for people. Okay. So wouldn't it make sense for if you want good for people that Allah rewards you for wanting good for people? Yeah. So it's not mutually exclusive. So that's my position, you know? Okay. But the question is before you go, is for you because you said you don't believe in a creator. Can you tell me where did the universe come from? The universe? Yes. The Big Bang. The Big Bang. Do you know what the Big Bang is? Yeah, like an implosion. No. The Big Bang is a, is a energy and matter compressed yeah. into a singularity yeah. that expanded very quickly. Yeah. Okay? Now where did the energy and matter come from? So it was already existed in the universe. No, no. There was no universe at that time. Well, it was already existing. From Somewhere. where? How? Where did they come from? I what what, what caused... Back, you know, I could ask you the same question, where did Allah come from? Uh, there was excellent a excellent question. I would, I would answer it by saying you cannot have an infinite chain of dependent things. Meaning, you cannot have a, someone that created Allah because you will ask the same question. Who created, who created Allah? Yeah. And then you will ask who created, who created, who created Allah? And if we have an infinite chain of dependent things, we wouldn't exist today. But the fact that we exist, it means that there's something eternal always existing that is there. And we say that's what we refer to as Allah. So it's very easy to answer your question. But now, can you answer my question? I'm a data geomatic, and how did they expand by themselves? Or where did they come from? No, because I'm not a scientist. Okay, so I want you to think, yeah. I want you to, even scientists don't have an answer to that question. They're not going to help you there, right? Because whatever was before the Big Bang is outside the, ra the realm of science. Because science is based on materialism. Yeah. And it's based on what we can observe. Yeah. Exactly. And they say, at the time of the Big Bang, there was infinite equations. It means all laws that we use today are not applicable at that time. Therefore, we cannot understand what was going on. So they admit that they do not know what was happening at the time of the Big Bang or before it. Now, but we know that energy and matter is not a conscious entity that moves by itself, right or wrong. Atoms do not move by themselves. Therefore, they would require a cause. First, for them to exist, number one. Number two, for them to expand, for, for us to have the universe that we have. And imagine this, it just happened and we have this magnificent universe of galaxies and stars and, uh, and orbits for each pla planet, electromagnetic waves, gravity that works precisely, allowing Earth to exist. Oh, it just happened, right? It just happened to be spawned. <laughs> okay, so we're saying which one is the rational conclusion to claim that oh I, I don't know it just happened or to, no, I'm not to claim saying, I don't know it just happened. I'm saying why are you saying science that? happened to me it's not rational to science say like, not... oh, there's a guy inside this guy and he's going like, we don't say there's a guy there, that there, that there. we don't say there's a guy though but whatever like you know what I mean. that's Christianity we say yeah. that yeah we say there is a higher entity higher yeah, power but to me, Allah that's not rational why so why would I believe in something I've never seen or heard or felt or do you have a brain do you have a brain no no wait Wait, 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 I want the okay, more important, a more important Jesus question. Than Do you have a brain? Do you have a brain? Yeah. Have you seen your brain? I can see it on a brain. No, no, no. Scale. Have you seen your but brain? I can see my brain. No, no. You're not I answering. Haven't, no, no. But I okay. Can. Okay, I thank can see you. It tomorrow. Step by step. You said you haven't seen your brain. And you said you cannot believe in that which you haven't seen. Therefore, why do you believe in your brain when you haven't seen your brain? Sorry? Like, I know it's there. Like, no, okay, just... so you don't need to see something to believe it, right? I've seen brains. No, no, I'm, I'm making now... Not my brain. I've I... never seen any gods. Okay, Let now, alone... do you want to retract your statement? You don't need to see something. You're still on your statement, right? You I believe... want... Okay, you don't need to see it. I want proof that it's there. I want an experience. Okay, I've so... experienced my brain because I'm really smart. Okay, so now... So, we... like, but I've never experienced God. Have you been to China? No. Why is China? The country. How do you know you've never been there? I don't know. So why is the proof? You just said you... But I'm you not going to walk around going, does China exist? Like, I'm not that skeptical. So does China exist? Like does China exist? Probably. Probably. Like, why? But, but you have no evidence for it. I know Chinese it. people. Okay. How... When they say... You know what I mean? I've had experiences. <laughs> No, no, I, I'm trying to make a point, and I know yeah. you don't, deep down you don't believe in what you're saying. You don't necessarily need evidence for everything in order for you to, to believe it. You, you do not have conclusive evidence the earth is round, but you still believe the earth is round. You do not have conclusive evidence that, that your doctor, your doctor, when you go to, have you been to the NHS? Yeah. Okay, when they tell you take this medicine, do you take the medicine or do you ask him to show you his certificate of qualification when he went there and he studied? What do you do? Like take it. Okay, why? You, not have, you don't have evidence that he's a reliable doctor and that the evidence is good. The evidence is that he's sat in the Chair. Do you get what I'm saying? So maybe it's not direct evidence, but it's. You sat on a chair. Now. Sorry? He's sat in a chair in a doctor's office. He's not going to be there. So it's testimony. 
is a testimony of the government, of the council, that this is a reliable person who is able... Okay, so testimony is a valid source of knowledge. You don't need to see it. So I take the so, testimony as a valid source of knowledge? So now we agree, you don't necessarily need to see something, but testimony is another valid source of knowledge. I'm just trying to use, make you understand. Not it's, necessarily need to see it, but I would like to have an experience with something before I commit to it. Yeah, no, we're not talking about committing, I'm just... Open. I'm so here with a crown in my hand, I have one at home, and I have a Muslim boyfriend. I'm very open to the possibility of it existing. Yeah. I just... I'm not fully there. Yeah, no, no, I'm just trying to make you understand that, like, how your worldview is irrational, right? Because what I... Uh, unfortunately, a lot of people, they are agnostic or atheists, and they come to a Muslim or a religious person, and they think they have a, a higher intellectual ground, in which they can now question that Muslim is what... And they have no basis for nothing, you know? Yeah. No basis for morality, no explanation for how the universe exists, yeah. right? No explanations for different sources of knowledge. So if this is your position, then you need to reflect it. If I were in your position, I would like be thinking, why am I believing what I believe? Why am I, why am I in a position where nothing makes sense, nothing has no meaning? So I would say the universe, now to answer the question that you made, I would say the universe is evidence of the creator exists. Can you create a universe? Can you create a universe? Not on this scale. Okay, so what do you need to create a universe on this scale? What attributes do you need? I don't think you would need attributes. Precision. Precision. I don't know. I don't think you would need attributes. So you don't, need, you don't need knowledge, you don't need wisdom in order for you to have zillions of stars and galaxies. You don't need power to create atoms that each one of you split. I don't think you creates need a nuclear explosion. Wisdom, mercy. I don't think you need any of that to create a universe. So you should be able to create it then. Go ahead. Make the universe number two. But I'm not a body of science. I'm no, no. You just claim you don't need power, energy. You don't need nothing yeah. to create a universe. So you have to create a universe. But I for can't us. create a massive implosion of like and create. A Why not? Because of course I can't. Why not? Of course I can't. It's like asking a cow to do I'm, a backflip. No, no, no. No, no. I'm asking why not. <laughs> Give me a reason. Human, I can't. Human, so you have limited attributes. Is that what you say? So you need maximal attributes to be able to do it. That's what I was just saying. And the maximally perfect yeah, attributes is possessed by God. You need attributes. I think you need to be science to create. Like you need to. Do you know what science is? Yeah. Tell me. The study of it, or like. Yeah. What is the scientific method? Everything around us. Science embodies so many things. It's a study of observation. It has a definition. Do you know the definition of scientific method? Okay, so when you say you need to be science, that makes no rational sense. Obviously, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah, okay, because science is not an, an entity that exists that you can touch and can do things, right? Science is a concept. A scientific method is a study of the physical world through experimentation, repeatability, and falsification. That's the definition of science. Do you know where science comes? Do you know who developed this method? It's a Muslim. His name was Hassan ibn Haytham in Andalusia. His book, Optics, you know, who developed the new scientific method that you're using today. So when you talk to Muslims about science, we know very well what science is. Science is just a tool. It's an instrument that you can use to discover. science is a tool. I think it's the beginning. The beginning of what? I don't think science is an observation. I think science is both an observation two minutes and ago the thing said it, itself. Two minutes ago you said it's an observation. It's an observation, but it's also the thing itself. It's the operation that's going on and then the observation. So in science, you have the things happening and you also have the observation. Then after that, you have results, you have classifications, you have like... Where is in science? Where can I see that science was going on inside of it? Where, where is that science where I can see what's going on inside? We can see science all the time. What, what is that? Tell me. So we can see observations, repeatability, and falsification. We can see things happening. We see all the time. We see chemical reactions. We see so me drinking reactions. water is science, yeah? Happening. Me drinking water is science. There's science involved in the process. Right now we're doing science. Of course. <laughs> okay. Wait, so, how is everything not okay, science? Okay, okay. Uh, no, are we not atoms? Can you tell me? Okay, okay. As we speak? Are you a scientist? Are there not sound waves going from here to there? Now, let me ask you a question. Are you a scientist? No. Okay. Can you bring one scientist who defines science as everything, please? Go ahead. Who defines science as everything? Your definition, basically. That everything is science. Which it's scientist on earth defines science to be everything? I don't know. I don't care what anyone else is. I'm saying I'm saying it. Well, you're not a scientist. I'm So what basis are you defining science? Because I can still talk about something without being qualified in No, no, you're defining it. It's different. So if I was a scientist, would you have accepted my answer? No, I will ask you, where, where is your qualification? On what basis did you come to that conclusion? There is an agreed upon definition that I just gave you. Yeah. That it, science is the study of the physical world. We have to study things which are material. For example, science... You have to study things that are material in science, though. So what do we study do in science? Things that are tangible, things that we can touch. Sorry? Things that are tangible, things that yes, we can touch. Yes, that's what material means. But science... 
Yeah, so, okay, so if that's what you mean by material, that's not true because science, we don't have to just only study material things. We don't have to study tangible things. We can study things that we can't touch all the time, like string theory. Okay. Is string theory based on what's going on in the cosmos, which is matter? Yeah. Okay. But so it's, it's not matter. Tangible. It's not material. No, it is. The universe is all atoms, matter, and physical. It's not material. I said, by material, do you mean tangible? Do you mean can touch? And you said yes. Yes, and the universe is that. It's atoms. Can't touch it though. Can't touch it. With you, with you. <laughs> okay, look, I'm just, I'm just gonna. Honestly, look. Well, I would recommend you actually just like think about how you spoke I'm open of. to it completely. No, no, it's okay. But like, with all the respect, you said your name is Brooke, right? You are speak, speaking about things without knowledge, with all due respect. And I understand because I'm, I'm questioning you on things on the spot. You've not, uh, before research them, you're not aware of them. But I wouldn't say making things up is the way to go, right? The way to go is to maybe humble ourselves and say, I do not know. I need to investigate. I need to look into this more. And I need to come to a conclusion, right? Not to make up things as, as I go, make up definitions and make up my own answers to questions which are incorrect, right? All I'm saying is this, right? Think about your own personal existence and how this magnificent universe, which requires maximally perfect attributes, as you agreed with me, came into existence. You agree? Okay. I don't think so. I think the Big Bang was an accident. I don't believe you need maximally perfect attributes. To but how? Where did the accident? I don't think it is perfect. I think it's a cock of shit. Where did the accident come from? Huh? Where did the accident come from? Where did the energy and matter come from? How did they start where moving? Was what was there before? But I could say to you, where did Allah come from? Do you okay. get what I'm saying? <laughs> What I, what I can see now is we're going in a circle because I yeah. didn't address that question before, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, look, think about what I said. Okay. And, uh, you know, I'm not trying just to put you on the spot. I'm trying to make you think, right? Because you were in a position more, I, when you were talking to my, my brother, you were in a position more of thinking that you require justifications, but you have things to justify as well from your position, right? There's a lot. I think our position is the most rational position that could exist. Any theist position is a rational position, right? The atheist position is the irrational position because it rejects this magnificent amount of, you, of evidence around you, the existence of the universe, your self is existence, which is a sign of existence of a creator, right? So I'm, well, all I'm saying is just think about what I said, you know? Read the Quran and if you've got questions, welcome to come back, you know? No problem. Nice talking to you guys, yeah? Jazakallah khair, no problem.